All right, guys. I got my buddy Sean here. Sean, get in here and say hi. <laughs> it seems like the only time I ever have Sean around is when the sawmill is up and running. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, it. So Sean's going to help me out. Um, we're working on the sawmill today, and it's all just too heavy for me to move by myself. So it's a Saturday. I'm off work. Sean's off work, and we're just going to try to get this, uh, get a lot of the work done on the sawmill today. And um, so you saw my last video, and uh, I kind of showed you guys how to weld the frame up and, and it's going to be one of the things you want to do no matter what when you have the sawmill. Now your next step is you're going to want a longer track. <clears throat> you can extend your track or you, if you want to or you can do what I'm doing and just build a whole new track. Now I thought about it, I could save a little bit of money building the track if I use some of the parts from the other sawmill so I cut it all up. So all that work I did, it's done, it's gone. Um, so. <laughs> So I cut it all apart and I've got it all stacked up over here behind the sawmill and we're going to use all these pieces to build us a sawmill trailer. Today's the first video on this where we're just going to line up um, all of our parts and get the track itself in, uh, in a nice square position ready to be made into a trailer. So the sawmill will function as normal. Um, you can take it and set it anywhere you want it. It'll be a lot stronger and a lot better. but. We're going to throw some wheels on it, the trailer hitch, some lights, and I can take it down to Central Texas if I need to at the parents' house. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it, you know. Let's get to work. I swear I got it out of the clean clothes. This thing smells terrible. So I'm gonna change shirts. And uh, it's gonna be inside out. Logos, dang it. Because remember, all right, there it went. It seems like mill scale is the only thing that's stronger than these uh, ceramics. So if you don't know this, when you're dealing with cold rolled steel, what you got to do is you've got to get through that mill scale on there down to bare metal before you can get a solid weld. The weld just can't really penetrate that good. It will, but it'll be a poor weld. You need to weld on solid metal. So make sure you get all the way through that. All right, we got a slight twist in this one. 
So we're gonna have to put pressure on it. I'm gonna have Sean stand on this when I'm welding this one in. All right, we're gonna tack our ends together. We got it squared and level and all that stuff. So we're gonna tack our ends. And um, I'm using my, uh, my Lincoln 210 MP. So I don't think this thing will fall apart. It's uh, it's really strong. Well, Sean, what do you think, bro? Looks good. What do you think about the welds? Look good. Yeah. You like yeah. them? Yeah. They're they're really good. Really good welds. Excellent. Think it'll fall apart? Oh no. Yeah. Strong enough? Yep. We're done for the day. Sean and I are gonna go sit down by the lake. Maybe even crawl in the lake today. Man, I've just been dying to go out and and get in the water, and um, it's finally warm enough. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. But uh, I gotta go now. Bye. Well, we finished up our work for the day, but we're not done yet. We still got a lot of work to make this sawmill something that we can use on a daily basis. You know, we've got a lot of trees on our property, uh, 20 acres to be exact, and a lot of tall pines. Man, I just can't wait to put a plan in action and, and get to work so that we can utilize this great resource that we have. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to share our videos on social media, you know, Facebook, wherever, and help us to grow a little bit. This is fun stuff, and we obviously don't do it for the money. Uh, we do it because we like you guys, and, uh, well, we just enjoy spending some time with you. So you guys have a wonderful day. We greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.